The U.S. is stepping up efforts at normalizing relations between Israel and Saudi Arabia. Ahead of a trip to Riyadh, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said he sees a benefit to U.S. national security and brokering normal relations and the expansion of the Abraham Accords will be a focus of Washington over the coming period. More from ILTV's William Sharon. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says the Biden administration is committed to supporting Israel's ultimate, final, complete integration into the Middle East region. The statement framing Saudi-Israeli relations as the U.S. security interest appears to be the policy shift for the Biden administration. We have the interest and bandwidth to promote normalization between uh, Israel and Saudi Arabia. And in fact, it's this administration that has produced the first tangible step of these two countries coming close together, together with the opening of the airspace over Saudi Arabia for civilian flights from Israel. Um, but ultimately getting to full normalization is a declared national security interest of the United States. We have been clear about that. Sullivan revealed he would be traveling to Riyadh over the weekend, hoping to further the goal. While Saudi officials have privately expressed interest in such an agreement in recent years, the prospects of Israeli-Saudi normalization remain distant. Riyadh has presented extensive demands regarding major improvements to their bilateral relationships as a pre-request for a deal. Sullivan was also emphatic about the U.S. determination to prevent Iranian nuclearization. We remain determined to ensure that that challenge does not cross the line to Iran acquiring a nuclear weapon. And yes, we will take the necessary action to ensure that Iran does not acquire a nuclear weapon. At the end of the day, that's the fundamental test. Iran cannot have a nuclear weapon. They do not today, and they cannot have one. Sullivan emphasized the close cooperation between Israel and Washington on every diplomatic move. Yesterday, I had a uh, secure video conference with my counterpart, the National Security Advisor, and uh, the Prime Minister dropped in on the video conference to have a discussion. Sullivan rejected the notion that Saudi Arabia's decision to march to normalization relations with Iran was a step away from Riyadh striking a deal with Israel. Sullivan said the U.S. was in close touch with Riyadh all the way through its talks with Tehran.